I've been in healthcare IT for almost 30 years. And uh, during the 90s, there were probably 400 companies that were formed to develop EHR, electronic health records. And it was a tough sell. Uh, doctors had no compelling reason to use health records. It was very difficult for them to use it. Um, so by the end of the 90s, there still wasn't a very big adoption in health records. I worked at Microsoft for a while on their data warehouse product. And I used to tell them, boy, if we could just get healthcare transactions into this data warehouse, it would be incredible. And they just laughed at me. Where are you going to get healthcare data? Well, that was 1997. But by 2015, all of a sudden, with a little government help, <laughs> everybody's using EHRs. And the UC uh, California Health System, all five medical centers, San Diego, Irvine, UCLA, San Francisco, and Davis, uh, established a UC-wide medical uh, healthcare data warehouse. And I was hired to be the project manager for that data warehouse project. And they had a single instance of Calibra uh, for all five health centers to use. And they were using it very lightly. And as I got involved with it, I could see a lot more potential. But we finally have arrived, the dream has come true. There's a lot of electronic health data out there that can be analyzed and the potential for research is incredible. I can see a lot more value than we have realized to this point. But to this point, uh, I noticed a couple of key things. As we make this data warehouse available to the physicians and clinicians, there's gonna be two huge questions asked. Where did that data come from and can I trust it? And at that point, as I looked at that, I said, guys, we have no idea where the data is coming from. It's gone through many transformations. And so I grabbed one of the ETL scripts and I said, Calibra has this thing called mapping specifications. And I built one and emailed the project lead in Irvine. I said, take a look at what this is. And the next thing I know, my boss says, you've just been commandeered to do all of the ETL mappings for <laughs> everything in the data warehouse. So be careful who you impress. <laughs> to be able to answer the question and not have to be a SQL developer, here's where this data came from. Here's how it has changed over time to show the traceability. And now to start building all the data quality rules on top of that, because data quality in healthcare is incredibly complex. So we haven't begun to scratch the surface on what it will do for us in that regard before we even get to report certification and catalog. We're, we're still laying the foundation. The cement isn't even dry on what we've started to do yet. The one-stop shop. I mean, in, in, in the world of, of data, I mean, we have so many systems and they are so disjointed and even if they communicate with each other well, we don't always know how they're doing that. Unless you go talk to the system guy or the developer. And I think the biggest advantage is we can take a huge load off of the developers and put that knowledge in the hand of the average user so that we don't have to bother them near as much because they are the high value, high dollar, high pressure workers and they don't need to be hit with questions every day on where did this data come from.